Hello techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about practical question for interview and this is exercise 18. I hope you have watched all other old series also. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. So directly we will go to the question. The question is very simple and answer also very simple but we have to think and do the coding. Swap the two string variable without using a third variable. Maybe you heard about the question like swap the two number variable without using a third variable. But this is the one latest question asking in the so many companies. Swap the two string variable without using a third variable. Example I have given here. The first A variable will having a AI and B variable having a Brahma, right? So after our coding or after our bot run completes, we have to get A equals to Brahma, B equals to AI. So like this, we have to swap the string variable, but we should not use any other variable instead of A and B. So this is the question, how we can do, we will see now. So directly we will go to uh, automation anywhere, workbench the first thing whenever we will do the interview question we have to use a standard right best practices for that i will use a first comment drag and drop and in the comment section i will use a swap the two number without using third variable like this so this is the indication to the interviewer so you are using a standard method or a best practice in your bots. Okay. So directly after that, what we have to take. So whenever the input and output will be there, always we have to take the input from the users, right? So that's why we have a prompt. Prompt for value, you can take it. Okay. So because we are taking a value, right? So here you can give the same way the name of the particular question and please enter a variable right we have to get a a variable first so this a variable i will store it in a and create and select because they have already given we have to create a a variable and the b variable right same way i will take for a b variable also copy the things and paste it in the prompt window caption and in the prompt message please enter b variable right and create a variable called b now you have taken the any name from the users right so user will give the name or a value for a and b what's next so next thing is we have to swap the variable without using any third variable. Now we have a two variables. So for more clarity, what I will do, I will go to the variable section and I will go to the delete unused variable. What this activity will do, what are all not used in your bot, that variable, it will just delete it in a one shot. Delete it, delete. See now in my variable panel, I have only the two variable a and b right so without using any third variable now i have to swap it but pause the video if you have the answer even in your mind please comment on the video if you don't know the answer then please comment on the video your approach also not an issue right your approach also very good so first we have to, we have to think right whenever you will go to the interview the new new question will come in a future right so first we have to think as a candidate. So that is most important in the interview. So that's why I'm giving you the opportunity. Please pause the video and write your comment. What, what we can do that you can write it first, then just see the video. Then you will get exactly what you have to do. Okay. So directly we will go to the solution. The first thing is whenever they are asking a string variable swapping, you have to take a string command means string package inside the string package we have a so many commands 
okay we have to play with these commands the first thing i will recommend you to take a assign action okay so what i will do i will just take a value a okay and comma value b so what i am doing both the data a comma b like that i am taking without using any third variable i am saving in a just see this one so what i have done i am taking the a variable string variable and b variable and both i am combining with my delimiter that is comma okay without any third variable i am saving inside the a itself okay now my a variable having a value comma b value right just imagine that output so now what i have to do next thing is you have to use a extract text this is the one beautiful command aa is given to us okay what this command will do i will tell you now the first thing is source string is your a so where you have saved the combined data right that one okay just you have to write it here a fine then we have a uh, so many options here before before and after or after okay after that you can just empty source string only so so many options you have and this is a simple english they have used if you see here okay before what is before they have given a condition also start after the text what is start after the text if you want to start after the comma okay you have to give here comma and what is the occurrence occurrence means if you if you have the comma two three times from which comma i have to take the data so that is the one it is asking to us start after the comma that one i am giving start after the comma okay just imagine yourself what will be the output right so what i am doing i am taking as a comma in the before action occurrence is one now so you can just take it as empty everything you can take it as by default no worries and save it inside the b okay just what i am doing after the comma i am saving inside the b one second i am just making one mistake here i need to swap the variables right so if you see here a comma b in the fourth line of the code so what is the meaning of start after the text start after the comma means start after this comma so after the comma what we have b value we have right so that's why what i have to do b value i need to save it in a so now instead of before i will take a after so what after will do end before the text means a end before the comma so that i am taking okay end before the comma a will be there that a value i need to assign it to b right b save it the same thing now i will do copy and paste it so instead of after so now i will take a before see first you have to take a value save into b because a value we have a total text right that's why after that what i have to do b value you have to save it back to a so now in the b value comma i will take it and i will save into a now i am not using any other variable if you confused please watch the video again definitely you will get the logic very simple some three logics we have used one is in the assign action a comma b after that we have used in a extract text in the after okay extract before the text comma i am adding into the b and after that i am using before the text means start after the text right start after comma that one i am adding inside the a very simple logic now my bot is completed so now what i have to do i have to show in a message box okay message box drag and drop here i will write it first a okay and just take a new line what the new line activity will do it will show you the output in a separate separate line okay new line so after that you can add it b okay what i have taken now a 
new line b same way before my code will start there also i will add one message box to clarify you what i had before the coding right message box after the from i will add a same thing a new line comma b new line okay and here i will mention see i am not changing any variable a and b right so i am giving in a message box same thing a new line b after the output also a new line b we have to get the output swap now okay now here i will add it old text to understand better way okay after that i will add a new line line and the same thing i will add it in the last this is my new text right so now i will save my bot and run the bot so now we will test several values and you will get what exactly our bot is doing right first we have to give the a value next we have to give the b value then that values should be swapped between a and b see now i am giving the a value ai just remember a value i am giving as a ai b value i am giving as a brahma okay okay and click okay see now my old text a value is ai and b value is brahma right so if i close the thing see now my new text is coming as brahma a value b value is a it's a swap right so just i will close and i will try again with a different values run the bot very simple right if you have a confusion please watch again step by step and do it in the system okay whenever you are watching the videos you will think okay i have got every logic but whenever you will do it in a interview you will forget right please do it in your system definitely you will remember in the interview this particular logic very easy logic just you have to remember okay please enter a, a value i will take it as ganesh okay g a n e s h click okay and b value i am giving as a uh, maybe ai okay b value i am giving as ai so my first a value is ganesh b value is ai and if i click okay so new text is ai and ganesh it's swapped right very simple one please watch the video again if you are confused and watch the old interview scenarios also very very important scenarios i have uploaded into my channel and for the future videos please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you for any queries i have mentioned all my social media and whatsapp mobile number everything in my description please call me or ping me in a whatsapp or ping me in a linkedin definitely i will help you for your queries thank you very much have a nice day happy learning